On a Monday morning, expecting parents have been part of a hot new trend called gender reveal parties. But are these celebrations actually more problematic than they are fun? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent live for us this morning at the Digital Dashboard with more on the meaning behind these parties, Twilan. Yeah, Ed, if you've been on Pinterest or really if you just have Facebook or Twitter, you've probably seen a gender reveal party photo or a video. They're growing in popularity, which means businesses that provide gender reveal party supplies, well, they're seeing a bump. Gender reveal parties are when expecting parents learn the sex of their baby. They often do it in a fun way, like letting pink or blue balloons come out of a box or by cutting into a cake with a colored filling. Well, someone has to make those cakes and Dessert Deli in Williamsville has seen orders for gender reveal cakes skyrocket in the past year. Owner Trish Mullaney says she and her bakery team love being a part of a family special moment going beyond birthdays and weddings. Trish says she's seen more and more sonogram envelopes come to the bakery. But it's taken on new life in the last year and a half. We probably average about five a month that we're doing and this weekend we're doing two of them so it's really it's kind of a fun thing the the parents are really enjoying it and so are the grandparents yeah but here's the problem some online chatter says these parties are problematic because they enforce the idea that gender is determined by the baby's anatomy and they enforce gender roles even before a baby is born now the online debate is pretty fierce on both sides but we do want you to weigh in are gender real reveal parties all in good fun or are they a problem we've got a poll right up here on twitter and we've got about 25 votes which is really great for this early in the morning so as you're waking up pop in on twitter really quick and let us know what you think i'm twila nugent at the digital dashboard okay